Magiscape is coming out all the time with new products. We actually saw the, the vault in a prototype about six months ago. Now it's the, a world premiere here, actually, at ISE. Yeah. Um, why don't you give us a little more of the technical details on how that integrates in with the complete system? Sure. Well, actually, it is a world premiere. This is the first time we've shown the vault in its production Congratulations. Uh, version. Um, it's a component of our Blu-ray movie server. So what that means is it works together with a player and a storage server, and those three components together form our Blu-ray solution. So what the vault does is a couple of things. It holds up to 100 Blu-ray discs, and when the copies are in um, the vault, the copies that are on the server are available for playback. Let me say that again. The vault holds up to 100 Blu-ray discs, and what that does is enables the copies on the server to be played back. Okay. Yeah. Why don't you give us a little more of the technical specs sure. and how that, how that fits in? Sure. Well, it connects to the system through an M-Class player. So it connects through uh, USB to, in this case, an M300 player. The M300 player sits on Ethernet, and that's how it connects with the server component. And that's how the data gets back and forth. Now, the Vault will also import Blu-ray disc. So, for example, if you bought five or ten movies and you came home and you wanted to load them onto your Kaleidoscape system, you could put them into the Vault one at a time. And after you put all of the five or ten discs in, the vault would start to import them one at a time, and then they gradually appear on your system. So it does a number of things. It imports your, 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 your new content. It um, keeps them present so that the copies on the server are available for playback. It actually also organizes them for you. From the on-screen display, you can tell it to eject a, pr a particular disc. Let's say you wanted to take cars with you on the road trip or on holiday. You could have the o go to the OSD, eject that one particular disc, walk over to the vault and take it with you. Now, when that disc is gone, you can't play it on your system at home, but when you come back and you put the disc back in, it's playable again. Okay, Linus, congratulations for the world premiere. Looking forward to see some more innovation for you in the months to come. Thanks very much. Thank you.